Uh, ben Bateman here for Red Carpet Report. Thank you. So this is my favorite movie of the year so far. Wow, um, thank you. Number one, and you were unbelievable in this film. Thank you. <laughs> so every year you've kind of, since you really broke out in 2015, you've really been in a film that's been in awards contention, everybody's been really excited about. What's that like for you to just sort of, your name's always swirling around? You know, I, I never really take the time to pat myself on the back because they have so many people who, you know, I look up to, you know what I mean? Like, Tom Hardy, he's a guy who completely shapeshifts, you know what I mean? Johnny yeah. Depp, they completely shapeshift. And I just want to get to that point where I'm trusted to be able to do that kind of thing, you know? That's why I, I try to pick so many different sorts of films and so many different sorts of characters, you know? So, it's been going good. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Good. This movie, uh, your character, obviously, you're put in a prison situation, and... Yeah like a lot of prison stories in real life and in films, there's a racial tension. Right. Um, how much of that do you, like character work do you do going into that? I mean, is that like a significant part of the experience for you? Absolutely, absolutely. But um, sadly, I mean, in America, it's kind of pretty prominent, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like a surface level thing. So I thought it was pretty interesting that in this program, it was so diverse, you know what I mean? Like we had an Indian guy, we had a couple white guys, a couple black guys, people from yeah. you know different parts of the world. Yeah. And it was, it was really interesting to see how all of us had to go through the same steps to be able to bond with a horse. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it, it takes all of the color away, it takes all of these inhumane things away, it just leaves it a total human thing that's going on, you know? So you get to bond with not only these, this group of guys, but with this group of horses as well. Had you worked with horses before in your life? No, yeah. oh, no. I'm talking about, <laughs> man, look. Fear is, 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 uh, is softly put, you know what I mean? I've yeah. been terrified of horses pretty much my whole life, which kind of made me want to sign on to this movie as well, you know yeah. what I mean? Because Henry wasn't only, a, a trick rider, but he was also the best trainer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, if I get this right, yeah, I can be proud of myself. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna, you're, yeah, you're gonna be in a horseback ride movie. You're gonna be right. <laughs> okay. you're a cowboy, right? Uh, so your character, you know, you're you're taking drugs. It's kind of part of the system in the in the prison system, right? And obviously, you see that as kind of a little bit of a. It's not a villain characteristic, but it's, you know, it's not something that's great in the real world. Right. But you're doing what you have to do to survive. Is right. that, when you're looking at the character, are you like, yeah, I, I don't agree with this, but he's just doing what he has to do? I mean, how do you look at that part of the character? Um, that part of the character, I think I started to reference back to maybe what might have landed me in jail. Okay. You know what I mean? Because Henry's a guy who who does great taking care of himself, you yeah. know what I mean? And sort of does great putting on this mask, like everything's okay. Because he's the smile, even in this really bad situation, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was kind of the the thing that I felt like, um, you know, they, they always have something in, in everybody's life that that you allow either to hold you back or to propel you. And sure. that was, you know, sort of the thing that he would always go back and forth with, even though he was the best trick rider and the, the best trainer, he's like, you know, this ketamine, <laughs> you yeah, know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of supporting it. my life, you know what I mean? And it was just something that he couldn't get away from, you know, yeah. because I think he was very optimistic, you know, because in my mind, I'm like, you know, maybe in five or six years, Henry will be back on the streets, you know yeah. what I mean? And how does that look for him? And he couldn't, he just couldn't get it together. <laughs> yeah, it was on way. Yeah. All right. Hey, man, thank you so much for talking to me today. All right, thank you, brother. Yeah. All right, good to see you.